Okay, y'all, so right now I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with this hair because it got to be done because clearly I won't be able to do my hair in just a few days. So, either this, and I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, you can see. <laughs> you see that color? You see that color. Or... Back roses this is olena otherwise known as olena rose and i know this video is starting off a little bit different but hey i've had some stuff going on right now i'm talking about what i'm gonna do with my hair whether or not i should wear a wig or crochet braids because look i'm showing y'all my edges and that's a whole nother topic and i got scalp issues going on but regardless of everything make sure you go ahead and like comment share and subscribe turn on all notifications because you're not going to miss, you're not going to want to miss any of my upcoming videos where I go into that in way more detail. So anyway, clearly, by the way my hair is braided, I'm going for the crochet braid. That's what I chose to do. And it's because I got surgery in two days. Well, as the time this was recorded, I was doing this two days before. And I needed something in my head because I knew I was not going to be lifting my hands up to do my hair anytime in the near future so i'm gonna go ahead and do this little braid pattern here i'm not gonna go too far into detail about that but if you want to know about some of the other braid patterns i've used before okay for crochet braids go ahead and make sure you check out previous videos so again we're doing three times outre expression twisted up crochet braids yes crochet braids um, this is the Springy Afro Twist Color 2T1B slash Purple Synthetic Hair, and the length of this is 16 inches. So, clearly I whizzed by the beginning of this install. This is 16 inches, I said, right? Right. But that looks longer, right? I'm going to show you just why it's a little bit longer. So, what I'm doing is I'm taking the hair off of the bundle so that's how one piece this is pre uh separated for you so you don't have to further separate but i did so i split that one piece into another one then i'm splitting it again and then i'm connecting the two pieces uh but not quite in the middle so it basically makes the hair longer that way okay and so um, you guys have seen me install crochets before. This, I end up doing an invisible crochet. It was my first time doing it. So if you want me to get into a slower version of this, uh, let me know in a future video and I'll do it again. So this hair, let me tell you, this hair looks so much like natural hair. It is something else, but I will tell you, it's not the softest of hair. Not the softest, so it did kind of, you know, tear my thumbs up a little bit because I didn't use a lot of products. Um, but it did mimic some of the dullness that we get from our natural, kinky, curly hair in its afro state. Now, I did go ahead and go in with some of this Eben uh, styling foam to kind of help me twist my hair because what I call myself doing. It's two strand twist because I just wanted to give it a little bit of text, a little bit more texture. I wanted to have like a twist out afro before I went in for this surgery. I thought that was cute. So this is what it's looking like so far. And y'all, you know, by this point in time, y'all, I'm tired. You can see the look on my face. It's super late at night. It's actually uh, almost like 11 p.m. But I'm like, you know, I'm determined I'm going to get this in. So... Still twisting. I look tired. Y'all excuse it, but you know, I'm I'm struggling to get this done, get my hair twisted up so I can let it down tomorrow. So there it looks all twisted up. I'm satisfied. I'm relieved. I'm tired. Next day. So this is where we run into a little bit of a problem. So I'm taking this down, but this this definition is not what I was looking for. I don't know what I thought. I didn't use any product but that even styling foam. 
But this hair said, uh, you want to do what to me? It's not happening. I love the color. You guys know I love, love, love purple. And I love the fact that this hair really does mimic huh. um, Afro hair. But, y'all, when I say I was so irritated and disappointed at the same time. But at this point, this was a day before my surgery. Um, I had already stopped eating for the day. And I couldn't eat no more. So I was like, you know, I need to get this done before my stomach wants to start growling because I can't do anything more. I need to get this done, get this shaped in some kind of way because I got surgery in the a.m., 5.30 a.m. So I'm thinking. And I'm thinking. I'm thinking the hair is beautiful. It's beautiful. But you know what? <laughs> I got to look somewhat presentable and look like. I'm ready to take care of business and not go in for surgery tomorrow. And I need to look cute, which is what I was going for. So, this is what I end up doing. I end up just doing two two strand twists on both sides of my head, connecting them, shaping the fro so it shrunk back down to look like afro hair. And this is a 1B and a purple color mix. So, it looks like, you know, I have my regular hair color in there. And, you know, I decided to play with some color. My favorite color, purple. And it turns out decent. Now, you may be wondering why I didn't go too close to my edges. There's a reason for that, clearly, because my edges need help right now. So, none of this was tight whatsoever. And none of this was close to the edges that I got left. But look at that shape, y'all. Look at that fro. You cannot tell me this is not my hair right now. And it's purple, sassy, exactly what I'm going for. Exactly what I'm going for. All right, so let me know if you guys like what you see. Did I do okay? This is the next morning in the a.m. This is actually my hospital style, y'all. I put my little uh, silk uh, satin head wrap, tied it around my head, and pulled up the rest of the the hair into a puff in the back. I'm satisfied. My hair is out the way and I'm ready to go on to surgery. So anyway, let me know if you like it. Let me know if it looks all right to you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, Rose. It's happy Saturday. I just want to stop through real quick and say hi. Hey. I wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the thoughts and prayers. Um, you guys sent during this week. I truly, truly appreciate it. It means so much to me that I mean enough to y'all to include me in your prayers. So I really, truly appreciate that. Um, I am home. Um, you know, getting better day by day. Um, kind of got control on my medication I need to take. Finally, yeah, it can be kind of confusing. Um, and, you know, I'm able to get in and out of the bed by myself for the most part. I figured out a little system here, so I'm good. I'm good. Um, and I will be a whole lot better. So I just want to stop in real quick and say, hey, I see y'all. I hear y'all. And I thank y'all. So I'll talk to you later, Roses.